What do you say we talk about the Object 590? Whether you should get it. Hello everybody, my name is So Slow, and this is a Tomato Plays where I, your humble resident, average green tomato playing new tanks at Wargamer releases without ever actually knowing anything about them. My first games are what you see to hopefully help you, the average player, get an idea about a new tank and whether you want to grind or buy it, and what to expect when you start playing it. So, today we are talking about the brand new Tier 9 Soviet medium tank, the Object 590. It is the distinction of being the very first premium Tier 9 in the game. It's also a bit of a turd. The, the 590 has a few quirks, the first being that Wargaming must have had a long night of team building. When the devs uh, came in the next morning, they accidentally clicked on the light tank crew button instead of the medium tank crew button, giving this tank only three members. There are no other heavy tanks that have this type of crew. You get a commander, a gunner, and a driver. And of course, this means that your commander and gunner are pulling double and triple duty respectively. This tank is a bit of a bust for a crew trainer. You can take one of your light tanks and repurpose it for this tank and not have to go through all of the pain of redoing that training or whatever. So the other quirk is the reverse auto loading mechanic. That is it you, that's used in conjunction with the 100 millimeter D54TA gun. Similar to the IS3A, the first round loaded is the quickest at 8.5 seconds. The second round loads at 15 seconds after the first, and the third round loads 19 seconds after the second, making for a total clip reload of 42 and a half seconds on a totally stocked tank, with the time being between the shots coming in at four seconds. The standard round has 320 alpha with 238 pen, and the gold round has 320 alpha also with 268 pen, which means on the, alpha, on the standard round, you can put 960 damage in about 12 seconds, assuming you can hit and pen your shots. Aim time is a paltry 2.9 seconds. The real kick in the guts in this thing is the gun dispersion. Coming in at 0.3, it is very difficult to make anything work. And hopefully I'm going to show you a couple of loadouts that will try to get that down to something a little more manageable. So in the first loadout, what I've got is vents, vert stab, and improved aiming class, just to shrink that aim circle size down. I'm also running the directive, uh, the grease stabilizer for the vertical stabilizer, which again is going to help with dispersion even more. Um, this gains us a net negative 25% on that 0.38 dispersion, which helps. Now, on my second build, what I did was went with vents, vert stab, but I threw in the T3 fire control system because it gets you a plus nine on the aiming speed and percent, nine percent aiming speed and a negative 11% to the dispersion netting you a whopping 36% reduction to your dispersion. Now, the one thing we can do even more so is we're going to add in food, which takes us, uh, it's just, I should say, ups all of our other, dis our, all of our other stats, increases our aim time, increases our reload and all that stuff. So in this configuration, and I will say that normally I do not run boosters on these things, but I did uh, run a boost or not booster, sorry, um, field modifications on these. I did not run a field modification on the first or second battle, but the third battle, I did go in, add the field modifications to see if it helped at all. This tank is incredibly frustrating, and I just don't think I can re recommend it for a new player. Um, and even some normal, just veteran players unless you are seriously a tank commander it's iffy if you want to try and get this thing but we went with the light alloy which gives us you know hull speed um and then improved sight to help with that aim circle and a reflective to get a little bit of camo 
and uh, a little bit of top forward speed, right? With the uh, heavy gauge nozzles. So with all that, running the T3 fire control along with the vent or the stabilized grease directives and food, we're looking at a total of 7.6 seconds to load that first shell. After that, you're looking at 13.4 for that second shell. After that, 17 seconds total for a total of 38 seconds for the entire shell reload. Again, four seconds inner clip shot, which means you're dumping these out in 12 seconds. Um, and then on top of that, we are reducing our dispersion during traversing and vehicle movement and all that stuff by a whopping 36%, which really just helps with trying to uh, get those shots to land more where you're aiming them more of the time. So I got some games queued up here, guys. So let's go ahead and get over to those games and see how it went for me. And here we are on or serene coast so like i said the first battle here i'm going to be playing a little more uh just to get a feel but also kind of with a more standard um loadout if you will more standard equipment setup uh, but in the next progressing battles i will be uh, upping the equipment loadout to try and minimize as much as possible the, the main weakness of this tank I said I feel is the dispersion so if we can get the dispersion down I think we can then really start to uh, just play with that full um, ability to really do some damage on stuff so Oh, well, that's just a bad day. Looks like that we are one annoying arty hit away from dying. And again, the gun depression just kind of shows us how really, really bad it is. I don't think that was a standard B I was shooting at. <laughs> nope. Don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Ah, alright, yeah. Oh. Super lucky here. Got the better gun dispersion or depression. I can't run away. So I'm kind of stuck here. Well, so far the turret has been proven to be kind of bouncy, which is kind of nice. the end of me um eh, not a great first battle that's for sure uh i managed to get a kill on a tank i wasn't shooting at so that's always interesting anyways we'll uh, let this battle finish up and we'll head into the next one all right so we are going to go over to the mannerheim or we are on the mannerheim line and we are going to go over to the north um where unfortunately the south is probably a little too gun depression-y for us to be able to uh, be effective over there and so uh, 
we will see how uh, the experimental equipment works, how well it does at actually getting us uh, that better dispersion and um, just see if it can make a difference. So. All right, guys, so we're here on Manaheim line and we came over to the uh, north uh, to try and assist with the 1-2 line and see if maybe we can get some um, work done over here. So I'm going to I'm gonna push this. I normally wouldn't, but I got some pretty good backup here, I think. And so if I can get up into this uh, position where my pretty strong, seemingly pretty strong turf from the last battle, I can put it to use. Maybe we can uh, do some work. Unfortunately, the one downside is that we don't have much in the way of... Wow, he blended right in with the rocks. Gun depression, so it makes it kind of difficult. We have to have the right... We have to have the right... Uh, Dip in the in the little valley here in order to uh, use our uh, our gun the best. So this is one of the things you have to think about. You want to be fighting on flat land. You want to be fighting on um, anywhere you don't have to try and use gun depression because the gun depression on this thing is trash. City is just going. Nope, I was hit the real. Oh, what? Oh, what? All right, many things are shooting me. Many things. Uh, and we're down to 158. HP again. So that's nice. And we're in a place where we can't use our gun oppression. So there are guys. Ooh. Let's not fall off the let's not fall off the ledge here, shall we? There's the mutts running away. I just need to get somewhere safe, wait for my gun to uh, repair to come up so that I can actually hopefully use it to Oof. fix my gun and do some damage. Our H2 is down on the uh, trees over here. us do whatever strange thing he's going to do. Alright, there's our repair kit. to just get this dispersion out. Uh oh, that was cute. Hit our own guy. That's always nice. Really? I got spotted? I bounced the arty. I bounced the arty. This game is amazing. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right. All right, so for the last battle, we are here on Fjords, um, taking the uh, 
again doing you would think I would remember this vents the vert stabilizer the fire control system and then on top of that uh, a vertical stabilizer um, addition skill thingy I can't think of the name of all of a sudden uh, and then we are also taking um, food this time to help. And then for the field mods, we went with a light alloy mounting points uh, to help with hull traverse speed. Uh, improved sight for a 2% reduction to the aiming circle size, which again, we're trying to squeeze down that dispersion as much as possible. Um, Anti-reflective coating, which helps to 3% concealment and the ready gauge nozzle, heavy gauge nozzles because that assists with 2% or 2 kilometer hour faster forward speed. Um, the uh, I did not choose the secondary equipment slot because um, it was either scouting, scouting or survivability. So it really didn't make a lot of sense to try and take those because they are not really useful in the context of the... Oof. I just had a bad day. saying you're not a smart man well you're not a smart man yep we'll see ya this might be a really short game yep I think it's gonna be a very short game you know what we'll come back and we'll try this again cause uh yeah that, that did not that did not work at all and this game is already halfway over and it's only two and a half minutes into it. So um, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, we'll see you in the next game. All right, so like I said, we're gonna pretend that that last game just didn't happen. Um, so we're here in Malinovka and we're gonna see if we have a little bit better success uh, with this match where graciously the game has given us a tier nine um i don't i don't know we'll see here i guess boom all right so we are in the process of losing all of our hit points again seems like every battle is this way into a good position here. 1390's coming over too to help. Oh, nobody shot him, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, that's not good. Oh, artillery, hello. Shot that guy right in the face. And it didn't even phase him. Are you for real?
Oh, the already just got a bombardier. So here we are in Westfield, and I had a battle before this already uh, queued up and ready to go. And of course, I forgot to unpause my recording. So I did a whole battle. It was not great. And uh, didn't really do anything to help show off the tank or other than just my terrible playing skills. Uh, so it's not all that big of a loss, I guess, but it's definitely kind of annoying that I was unable to, ouch. Dezes, man. Inner clip on this is actually kind of kind of slow. To be to be a hundred percent honest, it is not great. I is going to move up. Let's see what happens here. But those shots did work. I think they did help and keep um, the thing that's been absolutely killing me with this tank. Has been the gun depression. Like it is, it has been the worst. It's the thing that's been destroying my life. I've been dealing with this tank. I have just been having a very hard time getting acclimated to the gun depression. I don't know why. It's not something that I normally have an issue with. Man, this is just ruining me today. There I was spotted, I bet. No? Oh, this commander must be poopy. Nice hit. Waiting for this auto reloader to do its magic, hopefully. Oh. That was spotting. That might be. Ah, there we go. I am in trouble, and I don't have a fire extinguisher because I'm running food, and I'm dead. So, I don't know, a little bit better of a battle, I guess, maybe, somewhat, but uh, probably the last one. Uh, so, we'll head back to the garage and discuss this guy a little bit. Alright, so we're back, and uh, 1147 damage. This, this tank is an, a bit of an enigma. Um, like, even with the current... 36, 31%, 36%, something like that. Negative dispersion on this vehicle. I just, man, this thing is tough. It is tough to really quantify because it's so trolly. It's so very trolly. Um, I don't, I don't know that this is going to be a tank for, for new players, for beginning players. Um, for folks that like, I just, unless, and, and the gun is trolly and so is the negative six degrees of gun depression. If you are off, honestly playing Russian mediums a lot, the negative six isn't going to bother you. Uh, I, if, I suppose if I played this tank for 25, 50 games, I might be able to, or I would start to get them used to what the negative six can do, how it would work, all that stuff. But this thing is just, it's rough. Um, I'm very glad at Wargaming buffed it. I'm super pumped that they decided to, to take our advice and actually pump or 
buff the uh the gun stats the just the rest of the stats on this tank because it was terrible um and now it's just not great definitely not overpowered like and i'm glad for that but uh if you bought the boxes and if you got this tank i think you're going to be kind of disappointed so um as an average player i would say probably most average players a lot of the other tanks like the meal uh the turtle um maybe the vk i don't know i'm going to do a tomato plays on the vk too just for uh the lulls because i've never played that thing uh so yeah let's this one i would have a tough time recommending for for average players um i might spend some more time playing it and seeing if i can figure out its play style and figure out like the best way to approach it but right now i would say probably not I don't know that I could recommend it. It's 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 a tough sell. Uh, maybe with some buffs, some more buffs, it could possibly um, be brought back, be brought to the limelight to where it would be somewhat uh, competitive. Um, I'm not sure what you buff. I would say the uh, dispersion uh, for sure. Um, get the dispersion down so you can mount some actual like useful equipment to help uh bring the other stuff into line but otherwise it's just this this one's tough it's really tough so i uh, appreciate you guys watching uh take care and we'll talk to you soon